We're baking protein muffins today. Uh, I'm not a baker, not at all. I'm not very good at it. I'm a decent cook, but when it comes to baking, my brain just doesn't, it doesn't understand. And there's also like a lot of math involved with measurements. So it's not my thing, okay? But we're gonna do it. We're gonna be making banana protein muffins. Mine are going to be gluten and dairy free because your girl's got stomach issues. That's about it. We're gonna see if I can't make muffins, what good am I in this world? You know what I mean? I have my oven preheating. I just took a gander on what you set it to because the recipe didn't say. So, <laughs> already off to a great start. Add the dry ingredients. Okay, what's that mean? Almond flour, baking soda, and powder. Salt, cinnamon, protein powder. <gasps> Oh, yes, my protein powder is under here. That's almost empty, but I came prepared. <laughs> Oven's ready. Okay, well, I'm not ready. I haven't even started. I'm not even close. I thought an oven took a lot longer than that. I'm also very fall vibes today, and I apologize to anyone who's offended by that. But it is September 1st right now so one and a half third cup of almond flour one and a half we what no one and three quarter cup girl oh my god i already need to go back to high school i didn't get almond flour i have brown rice flour and oat flour for the gluten-free sake almond flour is also gluten-free but they didn't have it is it gonna be weird blending rice and oat? Can I do that? Believe it or not, Jen. Can you mix them? Well, I, why am I asking? I'm doing it. I'm asking like that's gonna change exactly what I'm doing. It's not, I'm, I'm committing to this. Oh no. This is gonna be a, di oh. 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 <laughs> this is gonna be so messy by the time I'm done. Okay, there's the one. I think you're supposed to level it out. Okay, when you like put, okay, you didn't see anything. Okay. Oh my God, oh, don't look. One teaspoon baking soda. Y'all, I, in recent years, only found out that baking powder and baking soda are different things. Bro, why do you gotta make things complicated? One teaspoon, then half a teaspoon, of baking powder. Half a tea. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to keep this clean. Oh, tablespoon, tablespoon. No, that's different. No. Teaspoon. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. A pinch of salt. Ooh, but this stuff needs to be ground up more. Hold on. A pinch? What the hell does a pinch mean? Based on the size of your fingers, I feel like everyone will have a different size pinch. Is that a pinch? Can you see that? Probably not. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon coffee. If you haven't tried it, you heard it here first. I love putting cinnamon in coffee. Also, if you guys hear noises that set like if it if Bruh. I done almost put in ground cayenne pepper. Oh, you idiot. Can you imagine what that would have tasted like? Okay. This is a disaster. <laughs> Two scoops of protein powder, half a cup packed. My protein powder is plant-based because the dairy whey protein has a lot of dairy and this one's also gluten-free one and this flavor is vanilla because okay well that's like a scoop mind your business i'm the one eating these Not you. god can you imagine me on a freaking baking show i feel every time i bake i feel like i'm on an episode of nailed it if you've seen that show but it's just me on the show and I don't win. What a mess. Is that all the dry ingredients? Cause I'm over it. Fold 
in the almond butter with a baking spatula. Wait, where are, where are the eggs? So I messed up, you guys. I was supposed to start with the wet ingredients first, but I somehow skipped that part of the article because I'm not very freaking bright. So that's okay. We're gonna add the dry ingredients into this bowl after. So we're just gonna pretend that never happened. So apparently we gotta mash these bananas with a fork into this bowl. And how many? Three small to medium bananas, about one cup mashed. Let's get mashing. I used to always do this and mash bananas to make protein pancakes with just protein powder. Because it's a good option if you're like gluten and dairy free. Oh yeah. Oh, they're actually a lot easier to mash than I, than I expected. Fake muffins for a video. That'll be so fun, she said. I actually wanted to bake these muffins anyway because if you don't follow me on social media, I am doing a cut right now. A very strict cut diet. Um, Cause I haven't done one in over 10 years and I just really wanted to challenge myself to it. So I was like, I need like protein muffins is a great breakfast on the go, a snack. So I was like, hey, that'd be fun to make those and maybe film it. Okay, how mashed is mashed though? Like what qualifies? What do you guys think? Can you see? Bro, I just, okay. Now we need to whisk in the eggs, vanilla, and honey. Should I try to juggle with these eggs? Oh God, that's such a dumb idea. That's such a dumb idea. Let's do it anyway. Oh. Do you think I could get three in there? Oh. Oh. Could definitely not get three in there. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I think we are not there. Cool. Three. Hello, Mr. Train. Oh, that's a fancy drain. One teaspoon vanilla. I can handle that. Okay, <laughs> maybe I don't make a baking video ever again. One tablespoon. That's it? That's the only sugar in here? Oh, shit. you're really trying to be healthy. Well, I guess the bananas. Really ripe bananas are very sweet, so. Maybe we just do a little more. A little, an extra little. For good measure. Whip it good. Into shape. You won't be late. Now whip it good, Lee. Now whip it good. Into shape. Something, something. Now this is where we add the dry ingredients. Add dry ingredients. Okay. Am I supposed to mix the dry ingredients? Because I never did. Nope, it's important not to over mix the batter here. Oh, okay. Well, how the hell am I gonna know? Out of all people, what's a proper mix amount? How the heck am I gonna know that? Don't over mix. This will leave the muffins tasting cakey instead of moist and flaky. Oh my God, the pressure. How am I gonna know? Is this right? Consistency check. Fold in the almond butter with a baking spatula and then we divide it into the cups. That's it, okay, final step. How much almond butter? You can use natural peanut butter as well, which is what I have. I'm not a huge fan of almond butter. This doesn't taste like peanut butter for me. One third cup, all natural. No sugar in this, it's just straight up peanuts. Don't taste good on its own, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I have to be the trashiest baker ever. You know all those videos you see of people baking online and like their aesthetic is so cute and their kitchen's so clean and perfect. That is not this channel, okay? That is why I have an apron on. One of my students gave me this apron when I used to be in ECE. They knew I loved pineapples, so she bought me this apron. So cute. Uh, I just ignored the fold part, by the way. Cause truth be told, I don't know what the f means. And I don't care to look it up or learn. So <laughs> we're just gonna fold it in like this. Although this is looking, I don't know. It is very fluffy. Floof. So this 
This recipe is actually a batch of 12, so I only have one muffin tray with me. So I'm just gonna do them in two batches. So we're just gonna make one, try it, and then I'll put the other one. Okay, it says if the batter's too dry, add in a little bit of almond milk. And it is feeling a little bit dry, if I'm being honest. Who's surprised? Not me. And I have unsweetened almond milk, so I think we should do it. You are supposed to measure it, but not on this baking show, you're not. Okay, you know what? I think that's better. Oh! <gasps> okay, now we have cereal, apparently. Oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. We're gonna fill these. Shploop. Oh God, that's not three quarters. Oh God, how do I take some out? We don't. We don't. That one's gonna overfill. That's gonna be fine. Honestly, I like the first amount the most. That looks like a full ass muffin. These look like these are gonna be for toddlers. I'm trying to get my protein in. This is what we got. And I'm gonna put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna try them with you guys. Oh, you know what? No. You know what I wanted to do? Cause I am so fancy. I don't want the butt. Really thin pieces. I wanna put like on the top so that you know when like the muffins are baked on the top, you're gonna have like two slices of banana. I feel like this is pretty smart. It's going in the oven. I'll see you in like 30 minutes. Okay, here they are in all their glory. They look perfect. I gotta give you guys a close up view, okay? I also was a very responsible adult and cleaned my station while they were baking. Go Joss. Oh, the, that noise is the snowbirds, by the way. Those airplanes. Look at how good these look. Ah. Ooh, and they're so warm still. Let's give her a try. Which one do I want to try? Why? It truly doesn't matter. It truly does. Mm. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know why, my heart's calling it. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Ooh, still a little warm. Good news, not a lot of stuff stuck to that. I know that's a good sign. All right, snowbirds, I know you're practicing out there, but I'm trying to eat my muffin. How inconsiderate. You can't fly your plane somewhere else? I'm just kidding. Cheers! Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Very moist on the inside. And I hate the word moist. Close. Do you want to just land your plane on my balcony? They look very dry on the outside, so I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried, but the inside is so moist. And you know what? That peanut butter, it's like banana peanut butter. And that is my favorite combo. I could have added chocolate chips if I wasn't on a cut. That would have made these elite. But here we are. I think this was a success. Great call putting that on the top. Vegan butter to this all warmed up. All right. Success. Second batch is in the oven. I'm good to go for the week. Thanks for joining me. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy. See you tomorrow.